emperor told Horus that as long as he never did wrong, everything would be fine. And that was the last time he saw the emperor as he went back to Terra. So his words kind of got twisted in his mind as time went on. And he thought about all the campaigns that he had failed, all the, you know, diplomatic deals he has failed and it's turned to war. And he, he thinks, well, I'm doing wrong all the time and these planets are dying. How can the Emperor be right? And then he's shown a vision. He's mm -hmm. been mortally wounded and he's being shown a vision about uh, how entire worlds are dedicated as sanctuaries and shrines to the Emperor as a god. And he doesn't see any statues of any of the Primarchs or anything, only of the Emperor. And he becomes I know what, jealous of actually, that. Actually, tell you the truth, that vision does come true. It does come true. But little it's... does he know it comes true because he turns to chaos. Uh, did he die? I can't remember. Yeah, I think in the lore he's dead. I'm pretty certain, but all I know is that... I haven't read it yet, but all I know is that the Emperor confronts him, but he doesn't have... He can't kill his, his son. But Horus... Uh, uh, basically just slays the Emperor or something happens that saves the Emperor and Horus is like destroyed I think it, it, I bet so much of them imprisoned or something I'm pretty certain he's dead in the mm. eye of terror maybe maybe it's a thing like the Emperor's on the golden throne and then Horus is like on some kind of warp throne or something I don't know mm. Oh, Two okay. deities locked in mortal combat forever. It is kind of sad, though, like, you know, the Emperor didn't want it to become a religion, and the only reason he hated religion because people fought over their religions. Mm -hmm. Which is actually true. I'm like, you know, if you really think about it, you know, nobody really accepts the other's religion. And the second they hear, our guy is better, we go to war. And I think that's stupid. It's terrible that stories of, like, Captain Loken and all the Lunar Wolves, it's like, it's all been twisted yeah, by the Inquisition and all that, like, no, they were all heretics, all except for the Ultramarines and all these other legions that stayed true. And it's Wait, like, the Space Wolves, or...? The the Lunar Wolves. Oh. The Lunar Wolves eventually are well, renamed remember, to the Sons Basically of how it goes, and here, um, whenever you want to start, but in my eyes, mm -hmm. the Inquisition basically, after the Emperor Falls, oh. takes full power. They're just like, full power, let's do it. We got it, we got the manpower, let's do it. And they take full control. Uh huh. And they give them something to believe in. Yeah. Because they trusted the Empire, so they're like, okay. I felt bad for that one girl who's like, I believe in the Emperor. And then he just snapped her neck up like that poor girl. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it was, uh, what was it? It was, uh, it's like Horace didn't have any use for her anymore. Mm hmm. And, and then, then they... it was just. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's kind of sad because it's like, you know, that's when they're kind of like treating the civilians as nothing. Oh, yeah, they they slaughter them. They like bring them all in. They show an entire world just being destroyed by uh, gas nukes. And then Horus like unleashes fire upon them and just has all of his space marines open fire upon them. And I don't think that's what the Emperor ever wanted. He didn't want his civilians to, like, he wanted his civilians to believe in things and do stuff. But he never wanted to treat anybody different from his ultimary, to a space marine. Yeah. They're I wonder just, how the guardsmen... all human. I know, and I wonder how the guardsmen would have been treated, if they would have been treated the same. You know, the guardsmen, they don't really talk about guardsmen, they just talk about planetary forces, I think. And they're just regular soldiers with, you know basic soldier infantry armor and all that. They don't, I don't even know if they call them the guardsmen. I bet you 10 bucks what they were is they were planetary guard. Mm -hmm. They weren't even supposed to be used for combat. The Emperor wanted them at home so the space marines go fight, but civilians or marines just stay home and guard. Yeah. You know, although I don't know about the whole religion thing, I think it was better when the Emperor ruled, because the Emperor kind of kept things in order. Oh yeah, and they had, they were definitely in the golden age of technology. And even if he had been called a god, I mean, why be, like, I mean, Horus is all jealous over that. I'm like, why, why, why would you care? I mean, you're doing the good. He's doing good. You're doing what he says. Yeah. 
the people are willing to serve him. Oh, why did he have to hit my gun when I shot? <laughs> That's bad luck. Ow. Taking hits. Taking hits. Luck. I'm trying to get up there, but if this if this IS-3 would stop me from hiding the me. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to hit this patent in the side. The ripper patent over there. Okay. Stick up, stick up, stick up. Oh, it would have hit him, but it didn't. It would have, but it didn't. Where is he shooting you through? He's shooting you right through the front. No, into the top. Yeah, on the top. If, like, although it's heavily armored there, it's very weak. I'm sure it's weak on the top, yeah. Well, oh, it could have been a really good hit. What did that hit you? That hit you just right in the front. You're angled the wrong way. You need to side scrape. Like this? No, like this. You have to put your... See? Match how I'm doing it. Alright. You don't want your front... Where are you going? You don't want your front to be exposed. You want only your side and turret to be exposed. Here you go for If I'm lucky. If I think I'm doing this right. Hello. <laughs> Bing. Yeah, see, now they can't hurt you. I'm just gonna an anchor down now. It's gonna be our spot. Okay, it's time to move. American autoloader is still down there. I may have to angle for this Panzer. He's going to come over again. Oh god, he hit my track. Oh god, he hit me in the front. That did a lot of damage. Don't kill me. Yes. Still alive. Still alive. I'm a one Trying shot. Trying to hold you off. I'm a one shot, but I'm still alive. I like this tank. <laughs> you do? Do this thing. As long as you don't. As long as you angle. You push up ahead. I'm gonna go around the flank here. As long as you angle, they can't yeah. really do anything to me. I just wish the front was more, like, you know, rounded off. Yeah. Noise, I got him. Noise. IS moving up. See if he's I can done. get shots into him. He's done he's, camping. He's coming your way. I, I see your measly little 135 damage. It's a comet. Ah, oh, yeah, I did a hit. This thing's too inaccurate for this kind of range, but most of the time it'll still hit. Stalin. See? Yeah, just get all up in his face. There we go. Is his tank? I think his turret was jammed. Probably. If his turret wasn't turning, they probably got it jammed. Russian tanks move faster than me. IS-3, yeah. You're gonna be playing with the big boys. You'll be seeing up to tier six, or to tier six, yeah. You'll be seeing up to tier nine. The Hark so used to call him saying tier six and stuff because that's what the level I was at before him. I know, I, Danny and I would always at the platoon tier six, but now we have a lot more options now that we're at tier seven. Also, we will have Minecraft videos showing very soon. I'm gonna have that uploaded Sunday. Yep. Hopefully, and that will be all good. To, actually, no. What am I saying? It's up right now. I mean, yeah, by the time you probably see this, I would probably go be like a lot pretty far into the series because we got a lot of footage of World of Tanks. Yeah. World of Tanks? Are we talking about Minecraft or World of Tanks? For World of Tanks because, I mean, yeah. I have a lot of footage of World of Tanks still yeah. to put out there oh, as of true. time of this recording. Oh, I got a mark of excellence on the KV-3, finally. Nice. Alright, I got 3,000, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, I got 11,000 right now. 
I need just a little bit more. I'm trying to think if there's a tank we can use that would get us that extra. You need money? No, XP. Oh. You want to go down to tier 5? Sure. Let's go down to tier 5 with my church hill. Well, let's, go, let's just keep going down until we use up all the threes. Okay. Because I have a bunch of threes, so I mean, in the end, it's going to add up. All right. My church hill. This is my Russian dreadnought. <laughs> Hello, Dreadnought. This is Dreadnought. Dreadnought, 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 Russian. Churchill action. This is going. This is. Wow, we're on the same freaking. <laughs> we're on the map. Same map as the other one. I, I like this map. I do like this map. It is pretty cool. It's a nice map. God. Oh gosh. Look at my tank. I haven't driven in this oh in ages. God, yeah. It's just. It doesn't even look good. Like, you know, when I first got this, this tank was like amazing to me and now i drive it and i'm like this thing looks awful i mean it's small it is thin so it's uh -huh. nice, but gosh it, i mean it does not compare to anything where are you i'm over on your left oh, we should you. go the same way we usually do let's go yeah but man the the name of this episode of this match is going to be churchill action Eh, are we breaking this up? Oh yeah, uh, each okay. each video is probably going to be a match because matches are <coughs> typically kind of long. Yeah. yeah, our videos, um, we're actually having a horror video come out and that's going to be about 20 minutes. Um, and our horror video, the first one is usually 20 because we have to get in that much. Yeah. The second one will be about 15, depending on what we have to go through. And I'm not looking forward to 20. I, I can't 20. hit crap with this freaking thing. I hate 20 though. I believe really hate 20 hard. Oh, Can we please play only five seconds? <laughs> <laughs> Each video also, is just five also, seconds. Well, it's gonna try to get up some more skits. Yeah, of course. We want that Gmod skit series to keep going too. I've gotten a lot of mods, so there's a lot of good ones coming up. We're storyboarding or script writing, really. Got to figure it out. I know we got the we got a sign language one going. So if anybody's a signer, we'll have a sign language one going for a project. I have to there is a Cromwell over here, and he hurt me, and I am bouncing him. Oh, we just lost one. And I am out. I just remembered I'm not in my usual tier seven. That's right. I'm going like I can take on anything, That's and then I look right. at what I'm dropping, and I'm like I'm a little bit in the problem now. Make me try to. I'm... I need some help. I need some help. How do you want me to help? <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, I experimental killed me. There's a Cromwell right around that corner. Oh. Um, Austin, don't look now. I just looked. Well, you just looked and now he may get around you. Yep. Run! Run, fat, run, fat, run away from them. <laughs> that was yeah. awful. So, uh, oh, about ass. Churchill Power, yeah. <laughs> That's the name of the video. We were joking. Yep. That this is totally, totally not going to be the whole we video. We those Japanese heavies to move up with us. Yeah. 